what the hell is going on with this Activision acquisition? Well, it's complicated, but what's super exciting is today and the coming weekend is going to be key. And for those following along, we might finally be at the end of this whiplash inducing roller coaster. So let's set the stage and dig into the story so far, shall we? As always, a friendly reminder that if you're new to Xbox era, please do hit like, hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. It's also worthwhile checking out our Patreon if you want to support us directly, and you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Xbox era. If you want to get involved in the community discussion, join our forums via xboxera.com or our Discord, which is discord.gg forward slash Xbox era. Anywho, for those living under a rock, Microsoft is trying to buy Activision Blizzard. And 18 months ago, when this all began, they stated a close date for the deal, which is July 18th, 2023. If you were just checking your calendar with some amusement, that's right. This is all supposed to end a mere four days from now. The clock is ticking. As I'm sure you're also aware, the FTC recently lost its case for a PI or preliminary injunction, which is designed to prevent Microsoft from closing the deal. Even after the victory in court for Xbox, we knew that the CMA was blocking the deal following their investigation in the UK. And well, a lot has happened since then. First off, let's quickly cover off what's happening with the FTC and Microsoft. Despite losing and losing rather badly in court, they've decided to appeal. The TRO, which is a temporary restraining order, is set to expire at 11.59 p.m. PST today. They asked the judge who oversaw the FTC trial to extend the TRO until the appeals court can respond. The judge very swiftly denied that request. Now, if the appeals court works really quickly, the FTC may get what it wants, which is emergency relief that extends the TRO until they can actually rule on the PI appeal. The nutshell is, if the appeals court on the Ninth Circuit doesn't grant an extension to the TRO, once it expires, Microsoft can technically close the deal, at least in the US. So now we have to turn our eyes over to where I live, which is the UK. As I mentioned in my last video, despite originally blocking the deal over concerns around cloud gaming, the CMA have seemingly come back to the table, with both them and Microsoft pausing the upcoming litigation with the CAT, which is the Competition Appeals Tribunal here in the UK. Today, the CMA have issued a notice of extension for its investigation into the deal, which has actually moved their end date from July 18th to August 29th. The scuttlebutt is, per Bloomberg's reporting, that Microsoft is actually considering selling its UK gaming cloud rights to either a telecommunications, gaming or ISP, internet service provider company, to allow the deal to actually close. One of the partners Microsoft signed for cloud gaming was UK-based network operator and Kevin Bacon employer, EE. Now it's pure guesswork on my part, but this seems like a pretty good candidate to sign a new deal with. Of course, no one quite knows as of yet just what this extension actually means. What we do know is that the CAT has scheduled a Microsoft CMA case management conference for July 17th to consider the application made jointly by all parties to adjourn the proceedings pending further discussions between the CMA and Microsoft. Have Microsoft already made an agreement that satisfies the CMA? And while procedure must be followed, they've agreed to allow for closure whilst that procedure plays out. Even more interestingly, advance notice was given via NASDAQ that Activision Blizzard would be removed from their index when the markets open on July 17th. To clear up any confusion, it's not being delisted from the NASDAQ stock exchange, but being removed due to the acquisition being deemed highly probable, which according to NASDAQ's own methodology would affect the integrity of the index. Interesting timing, isn't it? Will Microsoft close this weekend? Perhaps. Maybe Monday is more likely. According to the current terms of the acquisition agreement, Activision Blizzard stands to make 
$3 billion in breakup fees if the deal goes past July 18th without an agreement to extend between themselves and Microsoft in place. Either way, we're truly in the endgame now and for supporters and opponents of the largest tech acquisition in history, the next 72 or so hours are likely going to be very interesting indeed. As always, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this brief update, please hit like, hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so that we can let you know when we've got some fresh content. And we'll see you next time.